What's up guys, Justin here of Yigitech, and even though 5G is still in its early stage, smartphone companies are slowly gearing up for this technology by releasing smartphones with 5G capabilities. Although this technology is now available in the Philippines, 5G coverage is currently still available in selected places and will not be widely available soon. But if you happen to live in an area with 5G coverage, then you should definitely check out these smartphones. Do note that the smartphones in this list are those that are only officially available in the Philippines and support the local 5G network. Alright, starting with Samsung, currently there are three flagship 5G-capable devices available. Two of them are the newest Samsung Galaxy Note 20 5G and the Note 20 Ultra 5G. Both backing an Exynos 990 chip locally, you get a beastly performance in cameras with the S Pen advantage, of course. And the Galaxy Note 20 series comes in 5G and 4G LTE models. If you want to get the 5G model, you'll have to get it through a telco. Now, pricing for the Samsung Galaxy Note 20 starts at 53,990 pesos, while the Note 20 Ultra 5G is priced at 72,990 pesos. The last Samsung device we have on this list is the Galaxy S20 Ultra 5G that was released earlier this year. It offers a 6.9-inch Quad HD Plus dynamic AMOLED screen with a 120Hz refresh rate and a Qualcomm Snapdragon 865 paired with up to 16GB of RAM and up to 512GB of internal storage. It also has a quad camera setup with 100x zoom lens. So the Samsung Galaxy S20 Ultra has a starting price of 69,990 pesos. Now moving on to OnePlus, we have the OnePlus 8 and its bigger sibling, the OnePlus 8 Pro. Both packing a Snapdragon 865 5G chip, up to 12GB of RAM, and up to 256GB of internal storage, the Pro version has 120Hz refresh rate display while the non-Pro has 90Hz. For pricing, the OnePlus 8 will set you back 35,990 pesos, while the Pro version has an SRP of 45,990 pesos. Both are available on Digital Walker. Focusing on Xiaomi, the first one is the Xiaomi Mi 10. Offering a 6.67-inch AMOLED display, it's capable of 90Hz refresh rate and a 180Touch response rate. You also get a Qualcomm Snapdragon 865 chip, up to 12GB of RAM, and up to 256 6GB of internal storage. You also get quad rear cameras here. Pricing for this one starts at 34,590 pesos. Then we have the Xiaomi Mi 10 Pro, which offers almost the same specs as the regular Mi 10 but with a spec bump on the camera department. Plus, it gets 50 watts fast charging instead of the 30 watts found on the Mi 10. Now, this device will set you back 45,990 pesos. The third Xiaomi phone is the Xiaomi Mi 10 Lite 5G. Offering 5G connectivity at an affordable price, it has a 6.57-inch AMOLED display, a Qualcomm Snapdragon 765G processor, up to 8GB of RAM, and 128GB of internal storage. We saw a Xiaomi Mi 10 Lite 5G for sale in Lazada for 16,990 pesos. Next up is the Poco F2 Pro which is one of the most anticipated affordable devices with flagship specs. It's got a Qualcomm Snapdragon 865 chip coupled with an Adreno 650 GPU, up to 8GB of RAM, and up to 256GB of internal storage. It also packs quad rear cameras and a 4700mAh battery with 30 watts fast charging. When it comes to price, the Poco F2 Pro starts at 29,990 pesos. Now, if you want a gaming-focused device, we have the Black Shark 3 and the Black Shark 3 Pro. You get the same Snapdragon 865 with an Adreno 650 GPU, up to 12GB of RAM, and 256GB of internal storage on both. The Pro version has a larger 7.1-inch QHD Plus AMOLED display and a 5000mAh battery, while the non-Pro sports a 6.67-inch Full HD Plus AMOLED screen and a 4700mAh battery. Both feature a 90Hz display with a 270Hz touch sampling rate. And when it comes to price, the Black Shark 3 starts at 29,995 pesos, while the Black Shark 3 Pro will set you back 44,990 pesos. Now, this list of course wouldn't be complete without Huawei. Well, they're coming in prepared. Starting with the Huawei Mate 30 Pro 5G. 
It's got a 6.53 inch display, Huawei's Kirin 995G chipset, 8GB of RAM, 256GB of internal storage, quad rear cameras, and a 4500mAh battery, plus a leather back panel that's specially available for the 5G variant. So the Huawei Mate 30 Pro 5G has a starting price of 55,990 pesos on Huawei's official flagship stores. Next is another flagship from Huawei, which is the Huawei P40. It sports a 6.1-inch Full HD Plus OLED display, a Kirin 990 chip which is the same processor on the Mate 30 Pro 5G, coupled with a Mali G76 GPU, 8GB of RAM, and up to 256GB of internal storage. Its pricing starts at 36,250 pesos. And let's not miss the Huawei P40 Pro. Carrying almost the same internals found on its smaller sibling, the Huawei P40, the Pro version has a larger 6.58-inch Flex OLED Quad Curve Overflow display, a quad rear camera setup, and a larger 4,200mAh battery. The Huawei P40 Pro starts at 50,990 pesos. Another 5G-ready phone from the P40 series is the Huawei P40 Pro Plus. Although it's the most expensive in the P40 series, the P40 Pro Plus is for those who have bigger demands and want the best of the best. It's powered by a Kirin 995G chip with a Mali G76 GPU. It's got 8GB of RAM and 4200mAh battery with 40 watts fast charging. Now it's available for 69,990 pesos. Now if you're wondering, the only 5G-capable foldable phone currently available in the Philippines is the Huawei Mate XS 5G. One of 2020's best-designed foldable smartphones, the Huawei Mate XS 5G offers a massive 8-inch OLED display when unfolded. It packs a high silicon Kirin 990 CPU, a Mali G76 MP16 GPU, 8GB of RAM, 512GB of internal storage, quad rear cameras, and a 4500mAh battery. It's priced at a hefty 139,999 pesos. Whoa. Second to the last, we have the latest mid-ranger, the Huawei Nova 7 5G. It comes with Huawei's latest Kirin 985 chip running at 2.58 GHz with an 8-core Mali G77 GPU. It's got a 6.53-inch Full HD Plus OLED display, 8GB of RAM, 256GB of internal storage, quad rear camera setup, and a 4000mAh battery with 40 watts fast charging support. This will set you back 23,990 pesos. And finally, as of the date of this video, the last 5G-capable smartphone in this rundown is the toned-down version of the Nova 7, which is the Huawei Nova 7 SE 5G. It's one of the cheapest 5G devices you can get with an SRP of 19,990 pesos. This device offers a 6.5-inch Full HD Plus IPS display, a Huawei Kirin A25G chip paired with a Mali G57 GPU, 8GB of RAM, 128GB of internal storage, and a 4000mAh battery with 40 watts supercharge. And again, it's priced at only 19,990 pesos. And there you have it guys, do you have any thoughts on 5G here in the Philippines? Let us know in the comments! Also share with us your top pick 5G ready smartphone too! And if you enjoyed this video, be sure to drop a like, subscribe to our channel for more content, hit that bell icon so you don't miss any future uploads, and be sure to visit yugatech.com for the latest tech news and reviews. Once again, this is Justin, and don't forget to wash your hands and stay at home!